What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome to The Room 3. I've done the first two uh, games in this series and when I found out the third one had come to Steam I had to jump on top of this and, and make it happen. Because I love these games. And the third one is quite possibly the best one in the series. It is certainly the most intricate one that they've done in terms of story. Okay. It is also important to remember in terms of the control scheme, this was originally a game that released on Android and iOS, so keep that in mind as we are using it, but I absolutely believe that it is still a phenomenal game, even on PC. Okay. July 5th. A.S. is gone. His entire house is gone. I dare not recount all that I saw. I would rather that I was insane, and that those infernal boxes were but a figment of my fevered mind. I should never have ignored you. If only I had come sooner. If only I had not come at all. July 17th. I have awoken from the nightmare, but I am forever haunted by it. I submerge myself in my work as if to drown the memories, but it is no use. The Null calls to me in my sleep and seizes any unoccupied moment to fill my thoughts unbidden. I am marked. July 19th. I have continued to petition the Royal Institute. There is something about their denials that does not sit with me. Their insistence is too shrill and determined to cover something as innocent as ignorance. July 21st, a breakthrough as the Royal Institute rebuffed me once more. An undersecretary with a drawn look slid a packet into my jacket pocket as they passed. They refused to meet my eye as they hurried away. The packet included a page torn from a map of the south coast with an island circled. I leave on the first train. So there's the null, the portal that we went through, and the rest of it is blank. <laughs> Take the key, and we can use said key, but gotta find the keyhole. Surface looks strange, I should get my eyepiece. So this is a mechanic they've had from previous games as well. And we can uh, come up here and move the latch. Okay, so this will be the scrap of paper that they were talking about. This is what we actually need, though. The eyepiece. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Oops, sorry. There we go. An engraved pyramid. Elpis written on the lid. What? What happened? Where am I? In the room three. Hmm. All right, so we gotta get out of here. Let's start though by looking at, the, oh, come on. I guess I need to start here. Ah, that's right, okay. The power of flight, the well of knowledge. My face is silent without my hands. The poor have me, the rich need me. Is 
It is quite painful to watch how you blunder to and fro, half-blinded by those crude lenses you stumbled upon. Allow me to pry the scales from your eyes. These are the instruments of a craftsman. They will allow you to see the universe as it truly is, and reach into the unseen infinity of space that surrounds us. The Craftsman. Some sort of mechanism keeping the box closed. I should take a closer look. Yep. New lens. Something strange on this door. Here's the cool part. Well, I've got the lens on, you can do this now. And you need to line them up. You can see how it glows at a certain point there. There you go. However, there is still the matter of this thing. Will it not? There we go. You were warned not to look for me, but you would not listen, and it has become necessary for me to find you. Welcome to Greyholm, the seat of my ancestors. Seldom few visitors have walked these halls, fewer still have walked free of them. In the past, I have drawn my subjects from the greatest minds of history. Each played their part, but none outlived it. The Null wraps its bonds around all except you. It was a mistake to try and keep you away. I see now that I have great need of you. If you can prove yourself worthy, your first task is to find something that will aid you in your trials ahead. Find it or never leave this room, and I will have gone to great effort in vain. The Craftsman. Which we found. That's the lens he left us. So. This is one of those games where a lot of the story is kind of what you interpret. There's another letter for us, so let's go check that out real quick. The key to the Null will be forged here. I have given you the first piece. For safety, the remaining four are held separately. Retrieve them and bring them to this font. Only then can you fulfill your destiny, the Craftsman. You can guess what that would mean. And I will take that. Emblem found. So, the first game basically resulted in the character trying to decipher one little puzzle box, and that box led him to discover what was basically referred to as the Null. The Null eventually opened up a portal, and he went to another world. The second game, he learned more about the Null to an extent. Um, it wasn't really made clear, but he starts using the Null to travel to other doors and other portals and whatnot. And in this one, he's apparently been discovered by the Craftsman, the guy responsible for creating things like the lens, understanding the portals, and is he, we saw him go through one earlier. So now we're trying to decipher what's going on. There's very eldritch mystery kind of a thing going on around it. Okay, so here's our missing piece. And we need to basically construct the puzzles to match. So you have a rat and a checkerboard piece. And on this side, you've got the snake with the line through it. And those two result in that one, which... There you go. On the other side... Um... Probably just need the owl and the stars. And this side we need that probably I would assume. And there you go. I have played this before. 
so I'm sure I will move through this faster than normal. But it's also been a very long time since I played it, so there's every chance I'm going to get hung up in a couple of places. And this is the only game in the series that has multiple endings. Okay, what does this place have to find a way out? Well, to find your way out, you got to find a way in. Okay, I think I'm messing with this particular device a little too early. Let's go mess with this one first. Right, okay, so... <coughs> excuse me. Need to power this thing. Uh, that one. Just, no. Ah, there we go. Positives have to go to negatives and so on and so forth, so you kind of need to figure that out. And I don't think I'm doing it right. There we go. Is it locked or do I just need to be more? There we go. More careful about my swipe. First, as you've discovered on your little adventures, contained within the Null is the power to transfer matter across space and time. I've watched you cross leagues and centuries, just as some lesser individuals might cross a street. But what of light years? What of aeons? Eons, sorry. You have barely even begun to tap its potential. I've charted a world not unlike our own, yet incredibly distant. It is the source of the Null. I've measured it, even seen it, but I cannot reach it. Not without your help. But first I must teach you how, and you must prove capable of learning. the heights and then we'll go back and stretch them out a little bit more there we go Achievement unlocked, proposition accepted. Okay. Um, let's start over here, I think. Maybe not. Look around for a moment here. Okay, what's over here for starters? Oh, there we go. Goes the other way. Ah! Wooden gear. Nowhere yet on the table where a wooden gear would go. Oh, there we are. Who likes Game of Thrones? <laughs> now then. In we go. Yeah, something strange about the doorway, I know. Okay. Just need to line them up. 
Oh wait, I need the red ones and the white ones to be different though. There we go. Now we have a magnet. That's all we needed from here. It's also a little early for actually getting that because I don't think we need the magnet just yet. Can't use it just yet. Um, let's see, what else is around that maybe I can interact with? So like I said, this is, no, that's gonna need something else. It's been a while since I played this, so I have to kind of remember these one at a time. Um, that's gonna need a clock face or something. The magnet's not gonna go there. There was something else in this room, wasn't there? Maybe it's not here yet. This is here, though. The pyre has not cast its light in many a year. Ships need no beacon to warn them off this place. Travelers such as ourselves, however, require such things to find our path, a light in the black. The way ahead is dark, a darkness even the blind can see, the craftsman. Yes, I know the question mark button will glow. I don't care, though. I'm trying not to use it. Pyre is the answer here. Uh, the name, wait a minute, hold on. The name of this tower will reveal the way. Yeah, okay, so. Oh, wait, I need to remember how this one works. We have to line them up to letters. So right now we're trying to get to P, which is down here. So the bottom one and the that one. So there's P. Slide it over. We need to get to Y, so sorry, there and there. R, so the third one up and the top one down. And the E is pretty much the exact opposite. Higher. There we go, carved wooden arch. In we go. All right, so if you turn these on, I'm here a little too early. Oh, okay, so that one creates, you can see the start point up there, right here. So you just need to draw an hourglass, the start point up there. So it should be kind of like this. Ah, shoot, sorry, okay. And there's one third. Okay, so we'll go over here. Sorry, I should have checked this one. Okay, so that one's gotta go down, over, and into a triangle. All right. So down, all the way over, and into the triangle. And the last one. So up at the top, all the way down, and make a diamond. Top, all the way down and make a diamond. Now if we examine this and we look at the other side of it, nice little X shape. Which of course also means that there's another one somewhere we need to find. Is there anything else here that I can open yet? Sure is, model clock face. Remember that that's there and there's probably gonna be another one somewhere too. Yeah, right here. 
They're going to wind up being coordinates, I think. Okay. So real quick. Oh, I don't think I did that right. Okay, hold on a minute. Do, 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 do. Okay, northwest is fine. There's east. There we go. And we got a box. Well, wooden model piece. Okay. Uh, anything else I need to be aware of? No. Okay. I think we're okay. Should be. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see this real quick. Can I move these? No. Okay. That's fine. All right. We're leaving. We've got a couple new things we can mess with now. To start with, right over here. Actually, no. Over here, probably. There we are. Don't have what I need for that yet, that's okay. And over here, we have a clock face. And away inside the clock tower. Hey, there we go. Remember that thing we needed for that building we just opened up? One leads us to the other. Uh, down here. And again. Found a key. This is where it's gonna start getting fuzzy because I don't remember where there was a keyhole. Let me look at the key. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. Where might there have been a key? Hmm. Um, all right. Was there something maybe on the tower that I missed? We might have to use a hint after all, because I don't remember where that key goes. There's nothing coming up here. Oh, wait a minute. It might be over here, actually. I think there was maybe... Uh, maybe not. I thought there might have been a door with a key, but I think I could be very mistaken. Yeah, I need something else for that one. All right, what do you got? Apart from the table and bookshelf worth investigating in this room. Okay, so there is there is something else in here that I'm missing somewhere. Um, what, though? I mean, it's not the candle, is it? No. We've already been over here. We checked the letter. That's what got us pyre. Stone slab on the floor beside the table looks loose. Didn't I try to examine that earlier and I missed it? Oh, this one over here, okay. Which also has pyre printed right on top of it, okay. There we go, that would explain a lot. And we got another magnet. Okay. 
I knew there was something on the floor, I just wasn't looking in the right part of the floor. City me. Okay, now here's the trick. Didn't these... Okay, yeah, all right, so this is the thing that these are for. So if you look at this, you've got the, I don't know, weird triangle marker and the swirly. So you need to line them up with the weird triangle marker and the swirly. Now looking at this, one in the middle, two on the right, one on the bottom left. So, one in the middle, two on the right, and one in the bottom left. So really we have to start with this. Okay, there's one side done. Now the other one was down here. Uh, the S and the, I don't know, protracted angle or something, I don't know what you want to call it. It's that one and that one. And this one is one on the top, one on the right, one on the left, one on the right. Okay, so top is, basically I just need to do that, right? Oh no, it's the other way around. Okay, hang on, sorry. That way. Wooden model piece. Still don't know what to do with the keyhole just yet, but that's okay, because I've got other stuff I can do. I think this one goes on top. There we go. Moving up to the second floor of the tower. And there's the helmet I was looking for earlier. Let's go take a look at that, shall we? Okay, so this says the rocks of this island have always had a taste for blood. This tenacious aquanaut thought his science would be proof against them. I hope his curiosity into my affairs is now satisfied. The Craftsman. Okay. Um, can I mess with one of these yet? Feel like maybe that one, since it's not aligned properly. Small brass rivet. Okay, that's gonna go. Let me look at it real quick. Okay, it's exactly that, just a small brass rivet. It's gotta go somewhere though. But where? No. Am I just, oh, here we are. Metal acorn, and another switch. And another wooden model piece. Okay, making progress now. Let's start with that, shall we? Come on, you. There we go. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. In we go. Metal pointer. Okay, so I think, memory serves, there's more to be done in here now. Come back to this little arch place a lot. <clears throat> Actually, I might be here too early. Yeah, looking at it now, I think I'm actually here a little too early. Okay, hold on. I think the metal pointer might actually go to the helmet. Yeah, the dial here. Ah, okay, so this is what um, the markers on this were for. So sideways S, checkerboard, hills. Come on. Sideways S. Checkerboard Hills Copper tap and that goes right here because you could see the little triangular marker on it Sorry, I need to ah I keep trying to uh, rotate the camera with the right click <laughs> I'll go ahead and just take that, thank you very much, and uh, I think I can leave you alone now. Hold up, wait. Sorry, hold on, there was... Is this the piece of paper we'd already read? Yeah, okay. Saw something there, wanted to make sure I wasn't missing something else. I didn't want to go there. I wanted to go down here. I might have everything I need for this now. Okay, so once we're in here, the acorn is part of this. Because on the bottom, you can see it's got the funky key symbol. So that's what goes in here. Use the acorn to unlock the tree door. Seems kind of appropriate, doesn't it? That gives us this, which is where this goes. But you need the two to be aligned correctly, so... That goes that way, that goes that way, and that goes that way. And then guess what goes down in there? Thank you. Okay, I believe that's everything that needs to be done in this area. We're, we're done in the Stonehenge now. Of course, that also means I knew, or I need to know what to do with the gemstone. I actually think I know what to do with the gemstone, but I still don't know where the key goes. Ha! Um, is there a keyhole in the tower somewhere? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Keyhole. There we go. Right, this place is creepy. I need to connect it to him first. Where'd 
We're gonna kind of do a little bit of an inception deal here. Give him his leg back. And now I think the whole, oh no, move the hand back to him. And the tower's back. And the glowing gemstone. Open this up, so. There we go. I believe that completes this whole area. And there's the second part of this little craftsman's key thing. And we're going to continue. Scaling the lighthouse was quite the feat, though its beam may illuminate troubles to come. They remain yours to shoulder. Okay, well, there's still stuff to do in here, though. If I can remember how to access all of it. Let's see if I can get these to rotate, right? Or pull apart or something. There's a trick to getting these to move around, but I don't seem to remember what it is. Um, are all of these locked? That one's locked tight, that one's locked. And that one needs a handle, okay. I might be here too early. In fact, I'm pretty sure I am actually. There's another place where all of this starts and it's not here yet. So, let's go ahead and stick our next key down. Need to. There we go. 
This is where it starts. Kind of. See, this is the important bit. But, we need a coin first. Although I've got this. Isn't there a way to make it do something? There we are. Okay, now we have a key. And I know that we can keep going here, but we're gonna go back first because I I, I'm hoping that that desk drawer, this is the key to it. I don't remember, this is where my memory starts to get fuzzy. But I'm hoping. Bingo. Okay, now there's something in here, isn't there? Or on the side or down below? Here it is. Which gives us a handle, which probably goes to the other desk drawer. July 30th, Maggie Cox was a charlatan, and there is no such thing as a spirit medium. Everything she believed was a lie. I know this for a fact. I concocted the lies. How is it, then, that she alone can resist me? If she will not rest in the prison I have built her, I shall build one deeper still. I think there's another hidden... No, is there not another hidden switch somewhere in here? Ah, there it is. There we go. July 23rd, the house is turning in on itself, warped by the null. I find myself forever traveling in circles, down corridors that turn back on themselves. I use the doorway, machines to bypass the maze, but the crystal runs low on, crystals run low on energy. I must find a new power source soon or be forever trapped. So these thumbprints and whatnot this it's the craftsman I'm pretty sure so he's not necessarily telling us everything that's true which I think moves this one and I can move that one there and bingo that's what I was after Imprisoned. And now we have a crank wheel. He deceives you. Spooky. And you can follow the marks to the next area. Where, perchance, we'll use the crank wheel.
Hmm. Okay, now this is where we may actually need to come back. Because we need some more pieces to this before we can continue onwards. But all the same, Maggie Cox has revealed to us that there is something more going on. Let's head over here. Oh, there might still be a little more yet that I can do in this place before I start messing with the rest of that. I think there may be something to be done with this. No, not yet. There it is. Okay. Got ourselves a metal object. I can't use it yet, but we have one. All right, now. Um, we'll go ahead and open up the next door. And read another note over here. Interesting. Here you stand, all corporeal and breathing and the rest. Existing is something you appear to have a tremendous knack for, a useful trait, and one that has been distressingly lacking in my previous apprentices. Perhaps my search really is at an end. This library is unique in all the world, though. I would counsel against indulging your curiosity, as is common at Greyholm. There are things here that are not sympathetic towards inquisitive hands. Do not idle here, the craftsman. Kind of feels like, you know, maybe he's trying not to expose us to mystical Maggie over there. Okay, this one I need to remember. Uh, all right, we got to start at the top here and then use that. No? There's maybe one at the bottom. No. Neither of those is going to reach, so whatever I do, it has to start here. Ah, there we are. And then those and those. Now, as you might imagine, there are also more fortune teller tokens lying around that you got to find to further what's going on with her. And way back down over there. As before, we still have to tune the thing. Here we are in the next area, but we've been running for almost an hour, so I think this is a pretty good time to call it an episode. So thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy the Room 3. We're going to play it through to the end. Probably two or three, maybe four episodes. I don't know. It's not a tremendously long game, but it's just so well thought out and well done. From the animation, the environments that are created, the puzzles that are crafted, the team at Fireproof Games has just always done... A phenomenal job with these and I love them so we're gonna finish it through to the end but we'll keep it keep it rolling so if you are enjoying it please make sure you hit that like button feel free to leave a comment in the section below and as always guys I'll see everyone in the next episode catch you guys later